Hi, everyone. Uh, this is the first in a series of messages that I'll be channeling from whatever Ascended Master steps forward. So it's the Ascended Master series. And, um, you know, I got this idea from when I presented um, Sanat Kumara on uh, Ali's channel, Heart and Soul Connected. So this will just be messages. When you want to learn about the Ascended Masters and understand who they are and what they brought to the earth, go to Allie's Heart and Soul Connected to listen to her series. Uh, also, for uh, Joel Cool, who I'm showcasing his channel messages today, you can also go to Mark Spirit Whisperer, who also channels Joel Cool, and he has great messages from him. So when I asked this morning, you know, who would like to step forward of the Ascended Masters? And um, uh, it was Joel Cool. Of course, we had been talking about him. So, um, you know, he showed up and he had a beautiful message. Also, uh, before I started, I pulled the um, star card. It just fell out of the deck actually. And um, it kind of gave me the flavor of what the channeling would be about. But I'll step right into giving you the message, which I, I had to write it down because I don't remember when I channel things. So I'm just going to read it to you. And then I'll talk to you about what the star card represents as far as this channeling. <clears throat> so Ascendant Master Joel Cool. Um, a Tibetan master, uh, and you'll learn more about him when you hear um, on Allie's channel. I think Mark Spirit Whisper is going to present him, so you'll learn about that. But he starts out saying, the soul seal is above your crown. It holds the sacred energies of creation. It is your divine essence. We call it a soul seal because it is protected and always connected with divine source. Opening to this, your soul seal brings about shifts and changes in your energy field. You will be re receiving higher information and codes of light, which will unfold later. So as you open up to this, soul, I think it's like your higher self, but he's calling it a soul seal up above your crown. As you connect with that, you'll receive higher information and codes of light that will unfold later. Your heart is the key that opens all doors. An open heart is your destiny. Bring light into your heart and expand it. Hold your awareness there and you'll feel the difference. Practice this every day. Keep your awareness there, and you'll feel the difference. Uh, your heart open. Keep your heart open, and it will bring you more openings, information, initiations as you move along your path. The way shower is you. The heart of divine source is you. As you move along, you'll touch many beings with your light. This will shift humanity to a better energetic connection with divine source while on the earth plane. Open hearts. It is so, and so it is. So it shall be. Joy and inspiration are yours. For this light that you embody carries these resonant frequencies as it, as it moves through you. Transformation is happening. Embrace it and shift with a loving heart, embracing all your gifts to help humanity. For you are star seeds and light workers, as you've so named it here on earth. The connectedness with all that is allows you to channel and bring forth much wisdom to those in front of you who call for assistance. Allow yourself to bring forth those messages. It may feel like a thought voice in your head or an inner prompting. This is a message for that person in front of you. You will use discernment as to how and when to softly share the messages through your open heart. 
The heart has intelligence and will know the right time and words to be spoken and shared. You have at your disposal all gifts to utilize as you've come in with them. Step softly forward and begin your leadership role, your divine, your divine plan mission. And as leadership role, he's saying, this is my take on his meaning, a leadership role in the sense that you take charge of your life as an awakened being, as a self-actualized being. That's someone who just gets the message and moves forward knowing what they know um, without the conscious thought, oh, well, this, you know, how will people think about me or what, you know, any ego stuff is gone. You just move forward with whatever spirit is guiding you toward. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> nice to see you here. I didn't think anybody get on because this is just going to be a quick message because actually at three o'clock, I have light workers uh, with um, Marina and messages for light workers. So um, this is actually the end of his message. He says, This is Joal Cool with the light of the fifth ray and higher heart. And of course, he is a, a master of the, all the rays. Um, in the beginning, he came in on the second ray, which is love and wisdom. But he is um, the keeper of all those. So, and then he just says, I bid you good day. And as I looked on at the star uh, in the tarot, the star tarot, uh, the guiding light, universal light is that star. That is the energy of that. You are looking for a deeper meaning in life. You are searching for your truth. You are looking for peace of mind. It brings spiritual evolution by finding your true self in the treasure within your heart. The star brings you guidance, wholeness, inspiration, and follows on your path toward understanding and focus. I'm sorry, focus on your path, understanding your destiny in the, in the universal plan. It reminds you that the universe provides you with a continuous light that shines on your individual path as you travel through life's experiences. And that's just a framework or context because that star card just fell right out. And what I do is I channel the message. Even though I pull the card, I don't really dive into it. I just channel the message. And then I go back and it, it helps give that framework and it helps us understand the depth of what that message really is. And Joel Cool has given us a huge leap forward in him giving us an exercise to do to keep our hearts open and um, a little nudge to get on with our divine path. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this message from Joel Cool. And I will continue to share whatever messages I get as I sit down whoever comes through i just open it up to whatever ascended masters want to come through and maybe at some point i'll channel something about the great white brotherhood white being the, the light um that they all belong to it's kind of a fraternity of of ascended masters which i've always been connected with and channeled from so i'm just going to be sharing some of these messages and I hope you um, have gotten something from it. And um, that's it for now. Sherry, thank you for coming. <laughs> I appreciate it. My sister of the mystical tarot, <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> See you on Wednesday and that'll be on Allie's channel. Um, Wednesday, Sisters of the Mystical Tarot at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So don't don't miss that because we're going to talk about uh, tarot cards picking the ones that we really enjoy. And we're going to talk about what they mean to us. And catch you later, Sherry. <laughs> anyway, um, so that'll be fun. And in a few minutes, um, I've got to get ready for um, Lightworkers, messages for Lightworkers with Marina. So um, 
tune in for that. It's, it's live as well. See you all later. Bye-bye.